I am Carlotta Botox, and I'll be auditioning for the role of spokesperson for the Carlotta Botox merch store. Please begin when you're ready. Okay. Looking for the finest self-promotional merchandise money can buy? Just head on over to the Carlotta Botox merch store. We have everything. T-shirts, baby onesies, more T-shirts. Why, you can even okay, find- Okay, uh, thank you. What? I wasn't finished. We'll, we'll be in touch. Well, I can do more. Or less. I can do less. Less. Much less. Like, as in, no more? I'm being fired from a commercial for my own merch store? How is that even possible? Thank you. Okay. If you'd like to support the Carlotta Botox Chronicles, please visit our website at carlottapodcast.com and click on the merch store. We really do have baby onesies and t-shirts. Lots of t-shirts. Disappointment. Every actor faces it. That moment in the audition where you know you've nailed the role, but then the casting director goes all Ariana Grande. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. It sucks. For me, this has been a season of disappointment. One crushing blow after another. They say the kiss of death is when you start to lose hope. But no one ever talks about the dry hump of death. Well, today, dear diary, we're going there. Because these are desperate times, and desperate times call for the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. She moved away from Jersey with a dream she must fulfill. She had all of the ambition and yet zero of the skill. She set her sights on stardom, it's a scratch she had to itch. And if Holly was not careful, it's about to be her bitch. Welcome to the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Oh, dear diary. Here we go again. It's my manager slash landlord Dave with news that either my rent is going up or news that he hasn't found me any work. Hey, I can hear you in there, scratching away in that diary. Open up! I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't get your nads in a knot. Dave! What a pleasant surprise. Said no one ever. Well, you're in a mood. Can we talk? Huh, I guess. Listen, Carlotta, uh, I know I've been a bit distracted lately and may have been slacking on my manager duties. Huh, you think? But this thing, me being contacted by an English barrister about having Aristocat blood? It's Aristocrat, dummy. Whatever. Well, it turns out it's legit. This guy, Percy Cecil Moisten Minge IV, is representing some dame. Dame Pickles, who says I'm her grandson. The sole living heir to the Pickles estate. It's like freaking Downtown Abbey. It's Downton Abbey, not Downtown Abbey, idiot. Whatever. Anyway, they're flying me to England to meet my grandma. She's like 104 years old and doesn't have much time left. Well, big freaking whoop de doo I'll bust out a fascinator for the occasion. Don't be like that. This could be good for you, too. Imagine having a, a member of the British aristocracy for your manager landlord. It boggles the mind. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you join me? All expenses paid. You could be my plus one. <laughs> right. Last time I thought I was taking an all expense paid trip to Europe, I wound up at a porn convention in Panoma. Remember? So, I'm a hard pass. Well, it was Pomona, but suit yourself. I'll never get a star on the Walk of Fame by going off to sip tea with the Queen. I gotta stay back here and look for work. <laughs> Speak of the devil, it's my Giggle app. This is a Giggle app alert. Click to see your gig. <laughs> it sends me alerts for freelance jobs. Let's see what it says. Ooh, this is interesting. What is it? It says... Major Hollywood celebrity seeks responsible person to take care of their alpacas. The job lasts one week. Alpacas? You know, like alpaca sweaters. No shit. People would actually pay someone to look after their sweaters? Why not? People care about their stuff. 
I just read that Stevie Nicks has thousands of shawls that she keeps in a temperature controlled bunker. I bet you she has a shawl butler. You Hollywood types are so weird. Not weird, just particular. I'm clicking yes on this gig. It's too good to pass up. <laughs> Fine. Pass up a trip to England to take care of some sweaters. The gig pays $500, and that means you'll get rent for this month. Uh, like I said, you're making the right choice. I'll bring you a Big Ben magnet. So, Diary, later that night, my Giggle app pinged me again. <laughs> it said the Hollywood celebrity had requested an interview. So exciting. The property is in Malibu. I wondered what major star it is. The next day, I drove out to Malibu. In point eight miles, you will arrive at your destination. It was up in the Malibu mountains. A modest house, but with a very large backyard. Hi, I'm Carlotta Botox. I'm here about the alpaca job. Miso Dominic is finishing up interview. You wait here. Okay, thanks. And then I'm thinking to myself, Dominic? What famous Dominics are there? There aren't any that I know of. And then, all of a sudden... Kalana Botox? What kind of crazy handle is that? I'm Dominic Bag of Donuts. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Uh, uh... Bag of Donuts. Please, come into my office. So I follow this Bag of Donuts guy into his office, and he doesn't look famous at all. Boy, this is some letdown. But still, 500 bucks is 500 bucks, right? Please, have a seat. So... A little about myself. As I said, my name is Dominic Bag of Donuts. If I look familiar to you, uh, do I look familiar to you? Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I am just trying to remember where I've seen you. <laughs> well, I'm most famous for having played Scott Baio's stand-in in Super Babies. Baby Geniuses 2. That must be it. Yeah, I had no actual screen time, of course, being his lighting stand-in. But I was in the credits. That you were. Anyway, I'm headed off to Bayo Fest, which is an annual convention for Scott Bayo fans. That's a thing? Oh, yeah. It's the nation's largest. Takes place in Missouri, a town called Kneesbanger, a mere 47 miles east of Branson. The town motto is, bang your knees in Kneesbanger. Wow. Does it get big crowds? Oh, yeah. Last year, there was like 30, 31... 30,000? That's incredible. N not 30,000. 30. People. Maybe 31. Oh. I go, bring headshots that I autograph for my fans, sell some merch. You have merch? Oh, that's great. Really good for branding. Yeah, right? What kind of merch? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Bags of donuts, right? What? Bags of donuts. Why would I sell bags of donuts at a Bayo convention? Oh, uh, sorry, I thought it was kind of obvious, you know, because cause of your name. <laughs> Dominic? No, Bag of Donuts. I don't get it. I was thinking Dominic, Bag of Donuts, Bag of Donuts. You're a weird chick, you know. Never mind. I sell Dominic, Bag of Donuts, cigarette lighters, and hubcaps. Together? No, not together. Jeez, you don't know much about branding, do you? Hopefully, you know more about alpacas. Oh, I do. Let's see. According to your application, you got experience with these things. Oh, sure. I mean, I've owned several over the years. Several? Okay, that is impressive. I was very good at taking care of them. The ones I had lasted for years. But you no longer own any? M might I ask what happened to them? Oh, they just eventually disintegrated. Disintegrated? I did not know that could happen. Oh, sure. Moths, you know? Whoa. Live and learn. Look, my alpacas are very precious to me. Dominic Bag of Donuts loves these little fuckers like they was his own kids. I gotta know I'm leaving them with the right person, you know? Oh, I feel you. I once sent a cashmere sweater to a Groupon dry cleaner, and they just ruined it. I was heartbroken. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Why don't we continue with the interview? Please complete the following sentence. 
My favorite thing about alpacas is... My favorite thing is... Um... They're warm? Yes, they are. Good answer. And my least favorite thing about alpacas is... They can be... Itchy? I suppose that's true. It sounds like you spent a lot of time rubbing up against them. <laughs> well, I mean, it's impossible not to, right? Hey, no judgment. Dominic Bag of Donuts is nothing if not open-minded. Thanks. Listen, kid. I saw a lot of candidates today, and every single one of them was less nutty than you. But you got something they don't. You got spirit. So, Dominic Bag of Donuts is ready to call it. You, Carlotta Botox, are officially hired to take care of my alpacas. Yay, me! So, what do you say we go meet Don Jr. and Eric? Don Jr. and Eric? My alpacas! You named your alpacas? <laughs> Who doesn't name their alpacas? Um, this guy? You're a funny broad. Let's head out to the barn. Really? Yeah, that's where I keep them. Where did you keep your alpacas? Uh, well, I always kept them in the house, of course. Let me get this straight. You didn't name your alpacas, but you kept them in your house? You were one wackadoodle lady, Carlotta Botox. I like you. So, at that point, Mr. Bag of Donuts took me off to meet his alpaca sweaters, which he's named and which he keeps in a barn. Carlotta Botox? Say hello to Don Jr. and Eric. Yeah. Boys, say hello to your babysitter for the week. Yeah. Are you okay, Carlotta? You look like you want to pass out. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god. Uh, uh, I'm okay. It's just that, um, I thought, uh, well, I thought that, uh, well, yeah. this is just uh, overwhelming. Don't worry. Experienced alpaca handler like you? They won't cause you any trouble. At least Eric won't. He's a little dopey. You gotta watch out for Don Jr., though. He can get a little frisky. Probably because I never got around to getting them fixed. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is happening, isn't it? Bye bye Carlotta. I'm off to Bayo Fest. Any problems, you got my cell. Reception sucks out there in Kneesbanger, but I'll get back to you eventually. Eh, see you in a week. Bye. Oh, this is terrible. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello. Dave? Dave, help me. Carlotta. Boy, you caught me at a bad time. I, I got a mouthful of spotted dick. You what? It's dessert. These English got some fucking weird names for their food. Look. I can't stay on the phone long. What's going on over there? Sounds like a party. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm at this fancy dinner my grandmother was throwing in my honor to you know, welcome me into the family. I pretended to drop some dick under the table so I could crouch down and take the call. You would not believe this place. You should have come. It's got a fucking moat. I can't talk about that right now. Dave, you have to help me. I'm in trouble. Don Jr. is humping my leg. Wait, what? The Don Jr.? No, oh, the other Don Jr., the alpaca one. <laughs> You're talking crazy talk, and then this is a really bad time. I'm surrounded by lords and barons and dukes, and they even got a marquee. I didn't even know that was a thing. Dave, listen. The alpacas I'm taking care of, they aren't sweaters. They are not sweaters at all. Are they coats? No, they are not alpaca coats, and they are not alpaca sweaters. They are alpacas. Real alpacas. And one of them, the one with the weak chin, is dry humping my leg right now. <laughs> Although I don't think it's going to be dry for long. <laughs> <gasps> Holy shit! Can you FaceTime right now? I gotta see this. No, I cannot FaceTime you. David, David, where did that boy go? Oh, crap. Gotta go. My grandmother's calling me. You, you, you can't leave me like this. I'm sorry, Carla. There's nothing I can do from England. You're gonna have to handle this thing on your own. But Dave, you don't understand. Don Jr. is about to. He's about to. Come. Come, dear boy. There you are. Wherever did you go? You just seemed to disappear. I was just retrieving my dick, Graham Mimsy. Dave? Dave? Hello? 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Gross! No! Stop popping me! So, dear diary, that's how this miserable week ended. It was humiliating. The whole thing. This whole Hollywood experiment. I tell you I'm done. It's over. I'm going back home. Back to pick a Nikki. I mean, pick a tinny New Jersey. I'll get a job at the arsenal, meet a guy who's overextended on a boat, eat chicken parm every Sunday, and just live my life in peace and quiet. Maybe not the quiet part. The bottom line is this. I am never going to be famous. This is never going to happen for me. The faster I just get used to the idea, the faster... <laughs> Ooh, what's this? This is a Giggle App Alert. Congratulations, you have a gig. Click to accept. A gig? Huh. Wonder what it is. <laughs> oh, it says you have been hired to work as a server at <gasps> a Chloe Kardashian event. Oh my God, Chloe Kardashian? This can't possibly be true. <laughs> Somebody pitch me. Oh, this is it. This could be my big break. Hollywood, gird your loins. Carlotta Botox is back. Dearest Diary, the moral of the story is this. Just when you think it's over, it is far from. You know the saying. It ain't over till Carlotta Botox sings. Ah! Be sure to join me next time when I actually meet my idol, my hero, my personal Jesus. The one, the only, Chloe Kardashian. Ah! It's our season finale, and it's going to be... Not so. Gird your loins, here comes the credits. Hey everybody, Anne Sloan here, creator of the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Stay tuned until the end of the credits if you'd like to hear a preview of our crazy season one finale. The episode you just enjoyed starred Samantha Gordon as Carlotta, Trevor Lasore as Dave, and David Allen as Dominic Bagadonuts. Also featured were Karen Law and Heidi Strzok. This episode was written and directed by me and co-produced by Laura Lipson. If you like the show, please consider leaving us a five-star rating or maybe even a written review on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast platform. If you want to sponsor us for $1 a month, visit us at patreon.com slash Carlotta Podcast. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash Carlotta Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Coming up on the season finale of the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. We are here because Miss Kardashian is launching an incredible new product for the world to behold. Bruno has assembled a team of oh, former Mossad agents to ensure secrecy in advance of the launch. If there are any leaks, well, I'll have Bruno take it from here. Per the non-disclosure you signed, if you talk about this before the event, your tongue will be cut out. Haha, <laughs> that's a metaphor, right? Oh, you didn't read the fine print. What? That's right, it will get all a handmaid's tale up in here, so no loose lips, okay? <laughs> <laughs>